Assalamu alaikum and good morning from the Jinnah Park, Sialkot on the morning of the third one day international between Pakistan and New Zealand and the news here is that Pakistan have won the toss and have put New Zealand into bat. That's Zahir Abbas leading uh, the Pakistan side out. He won the toss, put New Zealand in, a perfectly predictable decision. It's uh, pretty common practice in one-day cricket. The wicket from here looks uh, greenish. So New, Zeal New Zealand have been trying uh, different openers in their uh, one-day internationals. They've opened with uh, Jeff Crow, they've opened with Edgar, right as the <coughs> common factor. And now it's McEwen. Mohsen Kamal then to bowl the first ball of the One Day International to right. That's wrapped on the pad and there's an appeal for leg before. It's allowed. Fine delivery. Runs for right. Two. In fact, they're going for the third. And they'll have to hurry. It's going to be a close call. But safely home. The scoreboard too has a uh, cure. So it's Mohsen Kamal to Bracewell. And that's going for four buys. And also a wide. So four wides. One run. Leg by Mohsen Kamal to Bracewell. Single. Right a little slow in starting, but uh, the run was uh, there, very comfortably taken. Mohsen Kamal to right. That's a good looking shot. Take one. Uh, he ran that first run very quickly. I think he had two in mind. Settle for one. So right now goes on to five and New Zealand move on to 14. 14 for one. Mohsen Kamal to Bracewell. It's up in the air and he's going to be out and he's gone. Caught. The next man in is uh, John Reed. New Zealand 14 for one. Mohsen Kamal now in. Ball to Reed. This one is going to be called a wide. 15 for one. That man out is Bracewell, Kortsali, Malik, Bold, Mohsen Kamal for one. And it's Mohsen Kamal now to read. Single. Read off the mark. He's on one. Single. Well run, single. Well judged. Perfectly safe. So New Zealand now go to 20. And Reed drives, that's a good looking shot. And uh, they get a single. It was going straight to Mosin and really traveling. Mosin got a hand to it, but not able to feel it cleanly. One run to Reed. Zakir Khan, once again, from the far end. There he is, running in. Reed drives, single. Again, not quite getting hold of it. 
cracked out into the covers. That's a good looking shot from right. Slightly short in length and he forced it away into the cover boundary for four runs. Up in the air, over the top of mid-on, a chase there, and the batsmen take two, and they could come back for the third. No, they don't. Mansoor Elahi at mid-on. One more run to right. Who Driven, that's a lovely looking shot, past the bowler, powerfully driven. And it has been picked up just a few yards inside the boundary line. Mosen bowling to right. Good looking shot again, this time through the long off area. Zahir giving it a chase, but this time the ball is going to speed across to the boundary. Four runs, moved into that one and played it off the front foot. A lovely bowler's back drive. Swung round, and that's a good looking shot down to the long leg boundary, four runs. Reed driving it away. Another good looking shot, Bill. This is a half volley, driven, and they take a very good run. Motion Kamal to right. And that's going to be a wide. Mohsen Kamal. And that's gone. He's out. It's a fine, neat catch by Salim Malik. And right is out. That's Mohsen Kamal's second wicket. A very good catch. Jubilation. This is the 13th over in progress. Gossa to Crow drives, not very firmly, but uh, firmly enough to get a single. And he's going to bowl to John Reed, who is on 10. This is driven. And it's gone for four. Good. Put that set to Martin Crow. Go on to the back foot. A pretty shot that from Martin Crow. He played it with great ease. Square to deep point, and they take two. Martin Crow on four. Put that sir. This one. Played to mid wicket. At close call. Mawson has a shy at the bowler's stumps, a direct hit uh, would have caused some excitement. Uh. The start of the 17th over, New Zealand 63 for the loss of two wickets. And it's been hit away over the top of mid-wicket, and down to the boundary it goes, four runs. Cracked away, that's a lovely shot, four runs, down to the cover point boundary. Turned away down to long leg, and the batsman come back for the second. Between cover and extra cover, or extra cover and mid-off, but so far he hasn't succeeded. And that's a good-looking shot, but smartly picked up there by the mid-on fielder. And Salim Malik also accounting for two dismissals. That one hit away over the top of mid-wicket. The ball is running down to deep mid-wicket. Schweb just cutting it off and the batsmen come back for the third run. Turned away down to deep mid-wicket. Once again some extra work for Tosif, the off-spinner. And Martin Crow now moves on to 18 and taking New Zealand to 80 for the loss of two wickets. Bandur Lai to Martin Crow. 
That's a straight drive, but he's going to get only a single. What does that do, Martin Crow? Cuts that perfectly safely. There is no slip down to third man, gets a run. He goes on to 20. Reed going down the wicket. Gets a single. And he finally moves from 20 to 21. It's been a long haul for John Reed from 20 to 21 in terms of time and the number of balls he's received. New Zealand 85 for two. That's a good shot from Martin Crowe. He made room for uh, to play that shot. He withdrew and then off the back foot really cracked that one between cover and extra cover. Four runs. 25 now to Martin Crow and New Zealand 89 for two. That's it to Martin Crow and once again and that was a very fine effort by Salim Malik. It would have been a superlative catch but uh, he didn't get near it. It was very, very firmly hit. 93 for 2. That's uh, miscued. It's up in the air but perfectly safe. He's got a run. It's quite. Manjuri Light, Martin Crow, and once again Martin Crow plays a superb shot. He moved away. made room for himself. This is the third shot he's played like that. 98-2, Manzuri Lai, Martin Crow, and uh, it's a slow delivery, driven by Martin Crow. He goes to 34 and New Zealand to 99. 99 for two. We are now watching the 25th over and very nicely steered away down to the third man boundary. Could be four runs and it is over the boundary line it goes. Mudassir bowling to Martin Crow and turned away for a single. Hit away, a lovely looking shot, powerfully driven between mid wicket and mid on and down to the boundary for four runs. Down the wicket he comes, cracks it out uppishly but safely enough. And that's a single to Reed. He goes to 28, and New Zealand are 112 for the loss of two wickets. New Zealand's run rate has crept up to 4.30. Hit away and this should go out of the ground. A magnificent shot strikes the hoarding there and that is possibly the first six of the innings. Martin Crow moves rapidly on to 46. Running the ball down to third man. Good intelligent batting there by Martin Crow. He goes to 47, requiring three runs for his third 15 in one day internationals. And it's 120 for the loss of two wickets. Cracks it out, that's a lovely shot. Four runs to the mid off boundary. Mudassir bowling to John Reed. And down the wicket he comes. This time gets a single to Shoeb at deep mid wicket. Reed to 34 and New Zealand are 125 for two. <coughs> Slashed out to deep point. Taking Martin Crow to 48.
flicked away. Deep square leg, Shoaib Fields, two runs to Martin Crow, and that's his 50. The fine knock, the very entertaining innings from Martin Crow. Two, Tosif, Martin Crow, and this time he's run out. What a terrible uh, misunderstanding. This Martin Crow played that shot, it went straight to uh, Schwab. So we've now got the brothers together, Martin and Jeff Crow. That's cut down to deep third man, but that's Sir Fields, two runs to Martin Crow. Comes in bowls. This was a half volley and driven. Four runs. What a superb shot. It went like a bullet. Martin Crow full toss. Turn around to deep square leg. Madassa is there and just a single. Jeff Crow at the driven square. The take two. A rather wild throw from uh, Salim Malik. And they've managed to get four runs. This one's been pulled around the corner. Fielded by Zakir Khan. A slight uh, bit of hesitation, but safely enough. Two runs to Martin Crow takes him to 61. This is the 30th over being bowled, and uh, driven, deep extra cover, and it's gone for four. Really, runs now coming very quickly, and Martin Crow looking very set, very domineering, and. Uh, punishing move. He's on 65 and New Zealand 148. I'll see if to Martin Crow. He swings them around the corner. He gets one. All being chased by Mohsen Kamal. They think about a second and then decide against it. That's good bit of fielding by Mohsen Kamal. He moved very quickly. Tosif to Jeff Crow. Turn. Zakir Khan fields one run. That's 150 for New Zealand. 150 for three. First bounce to Mawson. One run to Martin Crow, who's looking for the second. Swung around to mid wicket. More overthrows. And they've run four. So it's Mosin Kamal now coming in to bowl to Martin Crow. And that's bowled him. <laughs> McEwen is the shortest member of the uh, New Zealand side. He looks a little, uh, reminds me a little of Lindsay Hassett, the Australian. 156 now for four. Of the four wickets, one is a run out and three have been taken by Mohsen Kamal. That's good bowling. Mohsen Kamal to McEwen. Good delivery. Training innings from him. A typical one day cricket innings. Many of the runs coming from 
brave and unorthodox shots. Wilson come on to McEwen. And that's a beautiful shot. That four runs. What a superb shot. In both McEwen. He's uh, trying to get him away, force him away on the onside. Uh, played him out to square leg. He miscued there. Look. Tossif to bowl to McEwen. And that was a stumping and he's gone. Fine bit of stumping by Salim Yusuf. Jeff Crow on 10. The non striker then. Run a leg by. One. Bracewell, John Wright, John Reed, Martin Crow, and McEwen, the batsman out. Toss if to Jeff Crow. He goes down the wicket. He had a big hit, missed time that one, but he's going to get runs. The second one, they'll have to hurry. There's an appeal for a run out. Toss if to Kent, and he's bowled him. Drama. Kane's ball by Tossif. Jeremy Coney. Five point one eight. The run rate. Zaki Khan to Jeff Crow. The back foot. Mohsen Khan has the ball in his hand, tosses it to Zakir. on to 14. Martin Crow and Tosif took two quick wickets. That's Jeremy Coney off the mark. They go for the second. Uh, Jeff Crow uh, there's an appeal for run out and he's gone. There was a considerable hesitation between the two uh, batsmen there and Jeremy Coney is run out. 168 now. Seven, and the next man in is Smith, the New Zealand wicketkeeper. 168. Seven. Zakir Khan to Smith. Gets one. They think about a second. Uh, Jeff Crow rather thinks about a second, and uh, Smith not interested. Smith on one, Jeff Crow 14 in New Zealand, 169 for seven. Smith, the new arrival, not out on one, 168 for seven. Cut away to third man, and the batsman take the second run. So Smith goes to three. He's a very hard-hitting batsman, fine stroke player, and this is what New Zealand would be requiring after losing their lower half of the order. Cut away very delicately down to third man, and this time it's going to be four runs. It's up in the air, he could be out, but the ball is over the top of uh, Zakir, a short fine leg. Two more runs to Smith. He goes rapidly on to nine, and it's 177 for seven. Dosif bowling to Smith. 
And it's been hit away. And he could be out caught brilliantly by Salim Malik. Oh, what a lovely catch. He ran some 15 yards, anticipated the line of that shot, kept his eyes on the ball, rolled over, and that's a magnificent catch there by Salim Malik. The third that he's taken in this innings, and Smith walking back, disappointed, and Pakistan have struck the eighth blow. As the next delivery beats the wicketkeeper as well, and it's running down for four buys, four wides, well down the leg side. The wicketkeeper couldn't be faulted. Kid now bowling to Sterling. And there's an appeal for run out, but the batsman was home. Sterling gets off the mark. Hit away, cross batted, but effectively enough, and they'll pick up two runs. Sterling goes to four, doubling his score, and it's 187 for the loss of eight wickets. Cracked out, uppishly, and could Salim hold his fourth catch, and he does. Out goes Sneddon, and uh, he's walking out, literally in slow motion, to ensure that this is the final over. Tosif, bowling to Jeff Crow, who is not out on 15. Turned away, and... That's the end of the over, the end of New Zealand's innings. The bails are off and New Zealand end up with the score of 187 for the loss of nine wickets in 36 overs that were possible till lunchtime. So New Zealand 187 for nine. The innings was closed and Pakistan will now have to make 188 in 36 overs to win this match. The two Pakistan openers, Mohsen and Shoaib. There were 25 extras in their innings, uh, 18 of which were wides. And for Pakistan, the most successful bowlers, Tossi 4 for 38 and uh, Mohsen Kamal Three for 47. One. So now all is set for the start of the Pakistan innings. It's Sterling from the pavilion end to bowl to Mohsen Khan. And that's Mohsen off the mark straight away. Played square, fast point, two runs. Mohsen to Pakistan, two for no wicket. New Zealand 187 in 36 overs to Mohsen. There. P for LBW and Mohsen is out. LBW. So that's a dramatic start. Mohsen, LBW to Sterling for two. Coming in now is uh, Salim Malik and Martin Crow now to bowl to Schweb. Schweb's turned him round the corner. One run. Schweb on one and Pakistan go to three. For one wicket, now it's going to be Salim Malik. Came in at one wicket down. Martin Crow, to Salim Malik. Driven, square, four runs. 
between uh, third man and point. Button crow now to Salim Malik, who drives firmly. Good looking shot, but straight to Cairns. Sterling to Shoeb. Shoeb versus smacked him away for four runs. That's a fine shot by Shoeb. Martin Crow, Salim Malik. Salim miscues. He was aiming to drive that to cover. It's got an inside edge. It's gone to mid wicket. They've taken two. They had to hurry the second, but the run was clearly there. Salim Malik now goes to six. 14 for one. Martin Crow to Salim Malik. And he's bowled him. Swung in, an over pitch delivery and bowl. A great cheer as Javed Miyadad comes in. Martin Crow now to Javed Miyadad. He drives. Martin Crow to show him. Cut. Third man, they take one, and Shoev is uh, hurrying for the second. He's going to get it very comfortably. In terms of time, uh, about 35 to 36 minutes have elapsed since the start of the Pakistan innings. <laughs> Sterling to Shoev. Shoev has swept him round, and that's uh, six. It's a fine shot by Shoev. Superbly timed. And very neatly, there should be two in that. Yes, uh, Miyadad very quick, and so is Shoaib. And they hurry the second, but it's safe. Martin Crow to Miyadad. He drives between uh, mid wicket and mid on. It's being chased by Bracewell. They've taken two, and they go through for the third. Forty for two. Martin Crow to Schweb. Well placed, Schweb, between point and cover. They take one and then they go for the second. There's an appeal for LBW and Schweb's gone. It's out. LBW to Kony. Pakistan now 42 for three. Right in front. Next man in is Zahir Abbas. Martin Crow to Zahir. Thick outside edge. He's off the mark. Sterling is there. Third man. And the take two. Turn around the corner by the heat, long leg, sterling fields, the heat gets a single. Lance Cairns coming on for his first over. Driven, that's a lovely looking shot, the ball racing across to the cover boundary, and that's going to be four runs. Sweetly timed by Javed Miyadad. Cracked out, and Miyadad is out, caught there in the covers. Full toss, trying to drive it away, played it uppishly there and brilliantly picked up in the covers. That's the new batsman in, Mansoor Elahi, a fine hitter of the ball. And this is what Pakistan would require, somebody to give Zahir Abbas solid support and also get the runs. And Zahir Abbas coming down to have a word with the new arrival. So Pakistan slumping to 51 for the loss of four wickets. There is Lance Cairns bowling to Mansoor Elahi. And he almost edges it into the gloves of the keeper. So Mansoor Elahi, who's come in at the fall of Javed Miyadad, batting on one. And Snedden is bowling his third over. No wickets for seven.
hit away safely enough between mid-wicket and wide mid-on and Mansoor will pick up two runs. He goes to three. And it's going to be Cairns to bowl to Zaheer Abbas. Runs for Zaheer Abbas. Two, they think about a third and uh, decide to go for it and make it quite comfortably. So that's 3 2 Zaheer Abbas takes him to 10, and Pakistan now go on to 64. There's an appeal for LBW and a leg by, and overthrows. So that's three overthrows. Snedden to continue and this is going to be his fifth over he's given away 14 runs in the four overs he's bowled Snedden to Manzur Lai and that's a fine shot four runs very firmly struck able to reach that ball without using his feet. Snedden to Mandurilai and uh, pull that comprehensive cross bat shot. Keynes to Zahira Bas. He drives. He's going to get runs off that one. It's a fine shot to mid wicket. It's gone for four. Half volley on the leg stump. Zahir now goes to 14. Keynes to Zahir Abbas. He drives again. He's going to get four more runs. It's a slow outfield. He may not just, it may just go, may not. It's been cut off right on the boundary. The batsmen have taken three. I think had they hurried, they could have run four. So that's three more to Zahir Abbas, so little action in that over. And Pakistan move on to 81. Single. 89 for four. And this is the 20th over coming up. At the end of this over, 20 overs will have been bowled. Once again, driven to deep mid-wicket, single, deep mid-wicket or a wide mid-on or long-on. That's a gap that Coney hasn't plugged yet, but a number of runs have come from there. Keynes to Manzuri Lai, he's bowled him. He was driving his head up in the air. That ball came in. There was uh, plenty of room in the gap. And he's bowled him. And Pakistan now uh, struggling. Came into the batsman. Pushed away to mid-wicket. And the batsman go through for a single. A bit of misfielding there something unusual because the New Zealanders have been on their toes. Two more runs to Zahira Bas, taking him to 22 and Pakistan requiring 188 runs for victory are 92 for the loss of five wickets. Driven, that's a lovely shot by Zahira Bas but it will be stopped square of the wicket on the offside at deep point. Driven down to deep mid on. So 
singles coming quite regularly. Sneddon will be the first one to complete his spell of eight overs. And he's going to be out. No, yes, he's out court there at mid-off. A powerful stroke there by Mudassir Nazar, but it was uppish and straight to mid-off. And very well accepted there by Sterling, Derek Sterling, taking a very good catch. He had his body behind the line of that shot and made a very good catch. Salim. Good delivery, getting the outer edge to that one. And Salim Yusuf gets off the mark, takes Pakistan to 98 for the loss of six wickets. Tries to sweep and he's going to be out LBW. Playing right across that one, which must have drifted a little bit into the batsman. And Salim Yusuf is out and with it recedes Pakistan's hopes to a very great extent. So Zahid Abbas running out of partners. Visions. Zahid cracks the first one. And it's going deep point with Reed Fields and Zahid gets two runs. So 102 now for seven. And New Zealand's grip on this match tightening. Zakir Khan and Mohsen Kamal. Kony to Zahir Abbas. Plays it to deep square leg. Take one and they settle for one. 103 for seven. Kony to Tosif who's given him. That's going to be four. A very nice shot from Tosi. Driven. Brace roll. To Zahir. Zahir goes down the wicket. Driven him square. That's uh, just cut off at the point, point boundary. That's very good fielding indeed. So just the two runs. It's now a 36 over match. And this one is up in the air, but safe. Kony chasing it, and Zahir gets two. Perfectly safe. Although one must admit an element of uh, a desperation in that shot. But safe enough. He gets two runs, and I think that is what is going to be required now, is that Pakistan will have to throw their bat at everything, because uh, it's a difficult job ahead of them. The heat goes to 33. Canes now in, goes to the heat. The heat drives, straight drive, but just a single. Runs matter as much as every delivery that's bowled now. It's going to be a close finish. Keynes to Tosif. And Tosif is straight driven him. He's going to get one. He's perfectly game for the second, but uh, they settle for one. Good shot from Tosif. He's played some very fine, very strong drives since he came in. Good looking shots. He's on eight. And Pakistan 116 for seven. Keynes to Zahir. It's a full toss. Fielded by Snetton at long arm. One run to Zahir. Runs in, goes to Tosif, who plays him on the onside, and they go through for a quick single. Well run single. Tosif goes to 14 and Pakistan to 124. 
one two four for seven. Sterling to the heater bus, and it's up in the air. It might be six. No, first bounce just below us. It's a very fine hit by Zahir. First bounce. Bracewell to Tossi. He tries to cut. Gets him down to short third man. Gets a single. He goes 131 now. And every run, every ball in fact, is being uh, enthusiastically cheered. Crowd very much involved in this game. It's a very, very exciting match. Bracewell to Zahira Bass. He goes on to his back foot, plays it out, and a uh, fine bit of fielding by Coney. But uh, they manage a single. Coney diving to save that uh, run. Zahir now goes to 42. And Pakistan to 132 for seven. Bracewell to Tosif. Tosif drives. Deep extra cover, gets a single. Great roar goes up as he plays that shot. As I said, we've got a capacity crowd here, an absolute full house, and they're cheering every ball now. 133 for seven. Bracewell to Zahid. Zahid down the wicket, and he's caught and he's gone. Caught by Jeff Crow. That cover. And uh, there one feels go Pakistan's hopes as well. Next man in is Zakir Khan. Bracewell to Zakir Khan. Forward turns it to square leg. Can and there could be a run out. And they go through for a single. Another comfortable single, but not enough to get to the target of 188. Down the wicket he comes, cracks it out to wide extra cover, and that's one more run to Zakir. <clears throat> and that's it, a victory here for New Zealand. Pakistan 153 for the loss of eight wickets in their allotted 36 overs, which gives New Zealand a victory by 34 runs. The man of the match ceremony taking place and the announcements as to who the man of the match would be here. Martin Crow, man of the match for his fine all-round performance, 67 runs in New Zealand's innings, and then picking up two wickets for 21.